Hi there, welcome to another chapter of the electric BMW 320i project. Now just a couple weeks after Evcon, I'm still working on the car. It was a really great show this year. Got, it was really great to see all my EV conversion friends. Hopefully next year I'll get my car there. So this week I'll be showing about taking the uh, Siemens motor out again one more time. Working on the spline adapter. Uh, having fun with the interior of the car with uh, carpeting and painting battery boxes. So let's take a look. All right, back out of the garage again. It's time to pull the uh, electric motor for the third time. This time it's to get out, uh, take it out and make some measurements off it because the uh, guys at EB West have a solution for the Siemens spline and they need some dimensions to machine that to uh, put it through, get it the right size to fit in that uh, rebirth adapter. So let's see how this goes. Clutch plates off. Now for the flywheel. Here's the issue that can be seen with this spline adapter. You can see how much of a play there is. Easily, almost like over an eighth inch that it has backlash or what you just call looseness. And that is a problem because every time the car spins, it's going to bang. Take your foot off the accelerator and put it on again, it's going to bang until it eventually fails. <laughs> well, after struggling getting the bolts off, now they're all off and this just drops right off. 
Not very much interference fit there. Replacing the carpeting in the BMW. Just started ripping it out. Seems like it's after disconnecting everything, the parking brake and a lot of other things. You can start pulling up the previous installation. They use glue, so it's sticking in a lot of places. But incredible, a lot of the padding underneath here, all in this area, is still wet. They must have had a major flood in this car at one time through wherever it was leaking there under the dashboard and uh, just soaked everything. So hopefully the new carpeting will make it all look a lot better and be more enjoyable and smell good. Okay, with a couple of really good tugs finally came out. So I think all this padding is going to have to be replaced, but it's all right. I did buy extra padding when I got the carpeting, anticipating there might be an issue down here. So there's a look at the old carpeting and the new carpeting. It's like a lot of holes got to be cut. Gear shift, parking brake and then the bolts for the seats and then all the little cuts along the side for the molding seat belt holes uh, I don't think it's gonna go in that quickly but looks like it's the right size and shape this is crazy all this insulation it's just totally soaked That is incredible. This car has been sitting in this garage, which is relatively dry, at least humidity-wise, since January. Wow. Well, that certainly explains why the car we had always had kind of a musty smell to it. It's been this wet insulation. This heat shielding material on the bottom also is totally soaked. Well, it's going to all have to be scraped off. The good thing is, really good BMW undercoating paint. No rust at all, even with that being wet for who knows how long. Okay, filming the uh, primer of the other boxes.
After a couple hours sitting out, they're now nice and dry to the touch. Came out pretty good. That stuff splatters everywhere, but still does a pretty good coating job. And once it hardens up, it should last really well. And as Jack says, it will disappear once it's inside the car. Uh, you can see here this front box, I painted it to the, match the color of the car. I had some uh, touch-up paint that came with the car, and so I thought since this is going to be right up front and somewhat very noticeable, it would be great to have it be the same color as the car. I might even uh, put a coat of a clear coat on the lid just so it matches the luster of the rest of the car in the front here. But this looks like it came out really good. So that's it for this week. Uh, hopefully I'll uh, have the battery boxes installed next time you see this. Uh, I have to put this uh, nice uh, rubber insulation on, on the insides and uh, see how well that works out. So thanks for watching.